welcome back to another video on the LFG podcast channel. And like I said in the previous video, big One Piece fans, One Piece is going crazy right now. They got the hype hype episode dropping August 6th and the live action dropped two trailers um, to this point. So One Piece right now just in the world is going crazy. Um, and I thought that it would be cool to actually go in depth into these trailers, give some real analysis as to what we think about the live action, what we can expect. And um, yeah, just just kind of work off of that. Um, first off, how you guys doing? And second part to that question, has anything changed since we seen the second trailer? Anything at all, even if it's big, small, anything at all. You got it, Coach. Uh, well, first things first, man. You know I'm always good, man. It's just always nice to be back, man. Making more content. You feel me? Yes, I sir. ain't cooked lately, but hey, it's good. One piece <laughs> is high, so I ain't worried about cooking no more for the moment. So, J Mag, uh, back in the studio, LFG podcast. Excited for the future. Excited to be with the boys, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm in a good spot. You see the new backdrop. See my post Malone corner. You see all this stuff I got going on. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to be with you guys. Uh, let me get into your question. Has anything changed since that second trailer reaction? No, I don't think so. I don't. I think I'm still at that nine. I'm still at that hype level for myself. Uh, to be fair, I think I've only seen like one, and that was Tekken 101. Shout out Tekken, bro. Love that dude stuff. Um, that's and and I agreed with most of his points. Which so he's excited. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm excited for this, bro. I'm good to go. Codes, what about you? Anything change? Nah, man. That second trailer put me up. It ain't nothing brought me down, man. I'm I'm up there. Nice. Uh, All right. What about you, Jet? You brought it up. Something changed for you? You about to get into it? Is that what you is that what you're telling us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm about to get into it. Um, okay. <clears throat> to, a, to answer that at face value, I don't think nothing's changed in the grand scheme of things. But things have been brought to my attention that I necessarily didn't really pay attention to. I don't know if you guys have. I'm going to bring that to you guys now. Um, but yeah, like I said, not, not, nothing, like I, I don't think anything that I'm about to bring up is, you know, groundbreaking or anything. It's just things that I didn't notice. So we'll see if you guys, you guys did. The okay. first one, um, before we start looking at the trailer again, Cody, you can bring down your share screen because I'll bring up this one. Um, so the first one is actually about a couple characters. Um, I'm going to get your guys' perspective on this once. Yeah, and I actually, when, before we get into it too, I saw a couple things and then I guess we'll see if it's it's uh, what we're going to talk about. So let's see. Let's see, I did notice a couple things. So the first one, and this is coming from a lot of um, fans of One Piece. Um, their biggest critique, and obviously it's the second trailer because he wasn't in the first, is with Arlong. Um, the first one, and this is obviously smaller, but it's still something that like people are just kind of eh about, is his nose. Now, mm -hmm. I really didn't notice this watching it. But they brought up the point that you can clearly see his human nose <laughs> under, oh, under like yeah. his yeah, under his Nostrils. fish nose. Yeah. Um, I thought that was hilarious because uh, you know, like that that's just kind of like One Piece fans, like just kind of you know what I'm saying. They they find things to to nitpick and look at. Yeah. Um, but now, but like since they said that, like I can't unsee it. Like I just see his. his <laughs> Big ass nose. I mean, from the jump, I I noticed it off rip, and that was the biggest thing. His nose, because obviously in the anime and the manga, his nose doesn't have bones coming out. It has like like more like spike type things. Yeah, they're just jagged. Yeah, so that's the biggest thing, and that's what made me notice his human nose. And it does look layered poorly, unless it is like like they're together i don't really like from this picture it doesn't look like they're together it looks like someone like put like clay over his yeah, nose that's just, what it looks yeah. like but like i said i'm not mad at it as much as people 
seem to be mad. It's not that big a deal. Like he's a fish man. He... Yeah. That, hey, that, man. I mean, they're still humanoid. So yeah, yeah. It's not that big a deal to me. It's not that big a deal. Like they they did put the the bone spikes instead of like Cody said instead of the jag the the jaggedness of his original one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I said it before. It's not that bad. And I think this is as good as you can get in live action, and it's still not bad to me. So I get it. This is probably up there on my list as, but it's not a game changer, game breaker for me. So so then going into that, um. Cause, I, cause it starts at his nose, but then the second thing that it, when they said this, it, it did actually kind of like, I was like ah a little bit is his size, like if you if you look at at, at him and Luffy's like looking at each other, they're damn near the same size, and he doesn't look like intimidating, and the one and Arlong in the anime was. Very intimidating, just off his size alone. And this guy, like, like no, you know, shot at the actor or whatever. But that was like, like they're calling him R short. Um, <laughs> like I want to start by saying, like, before we get into that, the nose thing. I'm looking at a picture right now. He has a human nose. It's just combined with it perfectly to the point where you don't notice that it's a human nose with an extension, but. Going back to this point, I mean, that could be one of two things. Either one, they didn't want to do the CGI and make him look taller, which if they were to go into the future of One Piece, you would have to make a lot of people big. Yeah. So that's the question of that. Now, real but, quick, off of that, they the counterpoint to that is they said that they made Captain Morgan big. And they should have well, done it for our long. Okay, we haven't seen Captain Morgan. Then, yeah, so. then that, that is a true issue that you can't count. If they did it for one, you got to do it for the other. How do you not do that for him? For a main villain is big, bigger than Captain Morgan. At See, that. He, is he CGI'd? Captain Morgan CGI'd? Yeah, is he CGI'd? Or is it just a bigger, you know? a bigger actor? I've, I've, seen, I've seen a shot of it, and I'm not sure. Because I was going to ask if that was in the trailer, but I actually don't. Ah, not Captain yeah, Morgan. I don't think to, we've seen it. To, to stay true to it, if it is CGI for Captain Morgan, then there is no reason they shouldn't do it for Arlong. But if it's not, then you can't complain. Because that could be the multiple reasons. Either budget or they just, you know what I mean? Like it didn't look right, stuff like that. So they didn't implement it. You just yeah, got to keep that's, in mind. That's fair. I brought this up when I watched the trailer. That was my one thing. I said I wish they had Arlong bigger, the actor, just yeah, play, just did. have a bigger person and uh, an actual human, the actor, be a bigger person, the bodybuilder type of thing, or not necessarily body, just bigger because he does look on the smaller side. That was one of my my main gripe. The whole I don't even want to call it negative, but my biggest pet peeve, I guess, with the whole thing was Arlong. I am not on that train that I guess a lot of people are that like Arlong's just looking bad, he's just trash and whatever. But he is my biggest pet peeve, and I think he could have done a little bit better. But like I said before, this is probably the best that we, they could have done. And Cody brought up a good point. Maybe it just didn't look right in CGI. Because at the end of the day, Oda was attached to it, and they probably did multiple versions of Arlong. They showed it to him, and maybe he was like, nah, you know what? This one works the best. So, Okay. I can, I can see that. Um, I, and it's just I guess it's one of those things where I have to see it. Mm-hmm. Because this yeah. next point that I'm going to get into with Arlong, I really have to see the execution. Okay. Um, now, there is a shot where, and credit to Grand Line Review, because damn near all these points are something that he referred to in his video. And I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. So, so first and foremost, shout out to him. But there is a shot in the second trailer. Um and I guess, um, Cody, you can actually bring that up. I'll stop sharing, and you can actually go to it. There is a shot where Arlong looks to be in Buggy's, like, tent. Oh, in the tent. If the, yes. If, if, and, I, and I, I actually think he also said that he might be somewhere in, in, the, in the Berarty. That was if my If that's point. true, that's changing a lot. That that was the point that uh, I was gonna bring up that I did notice that Tekking did actually talk about too. It looks like Arlong is at the Barati. I I didn't notice if he was at uh, at Buggy's tent. I don't I didn't notice that. But this right here, like right there, that's the Barati. I think that's the shot. Okay, that's the Barati, okay. and he was saying uh, that it looks like they cut Don Creek and that 
Uh, he, it looks like Arlong's coming over here. He's having a, whatever. I don't know for whatever reason he's at at, at the Barati. But there is no more Don Krieg potentially. Oh, and, so and Arlong is the ahead. yeah, and Arlong is the guy coming out. So got keep going, keep going, keep going. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say so. We're we're basically assuming now is that they're changing the plot of Arlong Park. It's that, no longer because of Nami needing to collect the money to save her village. Maybe that because, could still be the case. I think Tekken brought this point up. The, the he doesn't know why he's. I mean, he he saw him being at the restaurant. Whatever. He doesn't know exactly why he's at the restaurant. He thinks that the way it's going to happen is that Arlong is here at the restaurant. The Straw Hats get there. They have a little scuffle. He he kidnaps Nami or says Nami's coming back with me, and that's how they go to Arlong Park to rescue the crew. That that was Tekken's uh, theory, and he did say, "Yeah, like we're losing, we're losing a couple people." Don Creed. Um, so then, he- this is this is this is my point, right? At what point do we say this is deviating too much from the main yeah, story? That's I was just gonna get into that. Is Don Dude. Creek that big of a deal to you guys? No, that, no. That but t- to push along up this much and to like. Take away what what greatness Arlong Arlong Park was to the story is, is it's insane because this is a huge arc this is a top three arc to a lot of people mm-hmm. so to sit there and and do this to that arc you're basically making your own plot to something that was already perfect you why are you changing that you have it I mean I get you have eight ten episodes to work with I get that but if you're makeshifting something and expecting people to like that we know that's not a good idea especially One Piece. Well, and I'm not I, me personally. I'm not saying this is necessarily bad yet. Mm, I'm just okay. saying when do we get to the point where they're changing so much, so so many things that were like as 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 hardcore. And there's obviously you know higher levels than us. There's people that power scale and all that other stuff. But I would still consider us hardcore fans. When do we get to the point where we're like this is just deviating too much from the story that we know as One Piece? Truly, I think this is it. Because, and as an example, I want to say, look at Cowboy Bebop. J-Max said he didn't see the anime first when he saw the live action. He thought it was good. The people that saw the, that saw the anime thought it was bad. So for us, as people that have seen One Piece, we're going to think this is bad regardless. You might think that it, it looks good, but the story won't be the same because it will be a completely different One Piece than what we know. And we're not going to like that deep down because we're going to always compare it to the what it, what it could have been. Which is a great arc, so I think I'm not gonna like it just because of that. I don't, and I've said it before that I actually like Don Creek, um, but I don't think it's gonna be if this is all they did. Because remember, Oda is stale behind it, and he obviously knew about these changes. This isn't gonna. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I think this is just a way to progress. And I know we already have the anime, and I know that story is pretty much perfect and how it went but i think for live action you're gonna need to change some things and you're gonna need to put differences in there and as long as it's not a critical change to characters then i think it's okay if this is the way they get from the baratier to arlong park because he he took nami with him he took whoever it might be with him and now they got to go to arlong park i don't think that's that bad of a deal i don't think that's that bad i think this is just the way that they're they're deciding to progress the story uh, and get them to Arlong Park. I don't think it's that bad. And I know we're we're reaching at straws here, but I'm going to just put in a one-if situation. If it were to go something similar to that, I would only accept it if Nami willingly went because of the fact that she knows she has to pay him off. But if he took her by force, I would not like that because that would not make sense to it at all. And it would just ruin the characters because we know Nami needs to get that money to save her village. So him taking her away wouldn't make sense if he knows that she's trying to steal from people. That's that's why mm-hmm. they have to write it good. If it's not written similar, I, I'm not gonna like it. Okay. Well, like I mentioned, Oda's still behind it. He he knows of this change. If he didn't like it, it wouldn't have been in there. And I know we keep saying this, right? Like, hey, Oda's attached to Oda's attached to it. He's not gonna make it that bad. But then I just we'll see. We'll see what it goes. Like that, I mean, like I said, it's not gonna be that bad. That actually transitions into one of the other points that I have. I have another character um issue, but we're already talking about Oda, so I'll go ahead and, and, and get into that. So another another point that Grand Line Review made was that he's not exactly so sure if we should keep 
propping up Oda into this deity type of 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 level. And the the I I wasn't exactly with him until one of the examples that he gave was that they keep on pushing Oda to push out these producer letters. And one of the last ones that he did was in promotion of film Red. And in that letter, he was saying how this is like going to be one of the greatest films ever made or something to that effect. And Film Red really wasn't. Like I don't did you ever watch Film Red? Not yet. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting till we get to that point in the anime and then watch it. So. so yeah, like 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 it was solid, but it wasn't it wasn't great. So it's just like his whole thing was like he'll he'll never see a scenario where he's like talking bad about what's mm-hmm. putting money in his pocket i yeah i think at the end of the day that's something you got to take into consideration like he he why would he speak poorly about his own work that doesn't make sense to 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 try and take that away from his greatness is crazy because he is a manga he's a manga artist he makes the manga not the animation or not the anime and not the live action he is just a part of it that doesn't mean he solely created it this is just his vision that was drawn brought to reality so to to sit there and try and take that away from him because he is gassing his work is crazy. If you made something and they tried to make it into a movie, of course you're gonna say it was great. Why would you not? That doesn't make sense. But but his point is that, I mean he like he's there's no reason for him to say anything bad about it. But you don't gotta say it's the the greatest thing ever. Okay, like if it's can, really I, not. I could understand that. But I mean, I just—I mean, we'll, I feel we'll like see. we're reaching right now. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, at the end I of just, the, I, I, and I, I think I've heard that point from from him. Oda is not the godfather, or I forget what term he used of of manga. Let's not put him on that type of pedestal. But I think it's not that crazy to think that he is. Man, he's at the top of his game. What he's created is yeah. insane. But going to back to this image, if he is. In Buggy's tent, as that I don't know if that'll bother me so so much. That's early. That man. is early because that does look like the clown, like a clown thing behind him. And if he's in the tent, it seems like Arlong is just gonna be the villain of season one, and he might show up in places where he wasn't in the anime. But look though, because because I have faith, this could just be us seeing a sneak peek of him. Because at the end of the day, this is where we see Nami. And we see Nami oh. here because she was with Buggy, so it could have been him dropping Nami off or some, you know, something of that caliber. Checking in, on him her checking in yeah. on her. That's it could fair. be like that. So every, you gotta That's calm fair. down with the reaching, because I mean, likely. what's the what's what's the what are we reaching though? Like reaching that they're gonna change the story completely, like. They're obviously well, not. Nobody change. said completely though, but that's why I said like, when do we get to? Because, and then that that goes back to the point that y'all want this to keep going. If it keeps going. They got to change a lot of things. And at mm-hmm. some point in time, it's not, it's not, like, it's not one piece. At, yeah, at and, some point in time, it's not. And, and I'm telling you, it's off rip. If it starts here and it, this story is not, I'm not going to say exactly the same, but if it's not on that same level where, and it's just different to the point where we're, we're losing people that were in the story and we're just having him, that's, that's the part where it stops. It, it stops right there. We're just completely off track. Because... Your like your point is always. I mean, I've I've said this too, but you're bigger on it. Is that like there's just things in one piece you can't skip. So if yeah. we're doing this, then I mean, that whole point is mute. See, and, and and I get that, right? But then you see, and they they remade the you know the the newer uh, animated versions of the or, early seasons that they made into hours. That's something that they have done. Obviously, it doesn't have everything in there, but that this isn't for for new people. Unless it is, which is crazy to me, this is not for new people. This is for majority of it is for people that have seen One Piece and is familiar with One Piece. This is not for people to get into One Piece. That doesn't make sense to me. It's to expand it, but not I to disagree. get people into it. That is crazy. How though? It's a live action. Like live actions are not made for for newer people. It it, it can be, but. Like I said, J Mac like Cowboy Bebop. The people that seen it didn't. To make this for new people to get into it, why would you change what was already made? Wouldn't you want them to like what they have, what 
what was already written down and not make your own story so that when they go watch the anime or read the manga they're gonna be like this isn't how the live action went like that's gonna happen you don't do that for new people the problem with one piece that everyone has is that it's too long yeah and you don't make it shorter by changing it so like i said if it's changes what they're doing though we don't know that we they, do know that. We know that there's some things missing, but to say things have changed is not true. What do you mean? What's the difference? Missing something like, like if we're skipping Don Krieg, that's not as bad as changing Arlong Park. That's still changing something, though. But I mean, like things got to things got to change, man. Like, it's not gonna be a one for one exactly. Like, things got to change for live action, and they gotta like condense it. They have to condense it. And yeah, this is this was is fine. Yeah, this was your point to like how are they, this is so many. This is too much stuff to adapt. Well, obviously they got to condense things so that they can adapt it, and things are going to get changed. Now it's how those things are going to change is going to be the issue. So far from what we've seen and what we've logically talked out, I'm not jumping off the ship yet. Like yeah, see, it, I'm still no. This and that was yeah. never the point of this. No, yeah, yeah, but just to kind of get where we're at, I don't I, like. I'm I'm still on board. Let's see, and I've said this before, if it makes sense, and he's not just thrown in there just because he's the big bad of, of season one, and he just needs to be in there. If it makes sense, like Cody mentioned, hey, he could be here checking on Nami, and if it makes sense, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it, um, as long as it doesn't change the core characters. They start changing characters' cores. Like, if Nami isn't, you know, trying to make up money for the village to free their village, then that's something different, I think. So we'll see at the end of the day how it turns out. As long as they keep the characters intact, I think we're fine. Well, I'm not going to lie. That's what it feels like. Like, off of both mm-hmm. trailers, it feels like he's being set up like that. Well, we'll see. I mean, him, like, just him him being there that early is crazy to me. It's crazy early. But like I said, knowing for people that have seen One Piece, if you see him that early and then see them first meet Nami, it makes sense for people that have seen it. Because you're going to be like, yeah, because we know already that she's working under Arlong the entire time. That's what we know. That's why I don't see how this is for new people. I mean, because it's like you said, like they're condensing it. Like it had, like it, it has to be to introduce people to One Piece. Like I, I don't see how it's not. Like if it was for us, why condense anything? We don't need them to. We would that's, take everything. That's why I brought up the the when they remade those early episodes and put them in the hour long episodes. Why would they do that? If not, for I, people I don't even. Th- I don't even think that's for us. I don't, I don't like any of those. That skips a lot of things. Like it leaves a that's lot of things I, out. That's what I'm saying. If they made those into movies, that would that would not be for new people. There's no way. How is that for us though? I mean. Now, it's because when I say for us, I don't mean like, oh, you guys can go back and watch this now, like, because we've already seen it, obviously. But like, to the sake of the people that just love the show and you want to push out content for the people that love the show, and obviously we're waiting for like new episodes and new manga chapters, here's stuff you can watch. But for newer people, you don't make a live action and change the story. That doesn't make sense to me. That never made sense to me if that's been the case for other things. I don't see how you change a story and expect new people to like the old story when you change the story. That doesn't make sense. I mean, the same could be said in reverse, like, and because my thing is, if as a person who's never seen One Piece and I see this, I'm, there's a probably a, a nine out of ten chance I like it because, like I said, we saw the trailer. It looks beautiful. It looks like they're doing everything spot on, not story wise, but characters and in the way the One Piece world feels. So someone could love One Piece from watching this. But as a view, as people have already seen it, we're going to be talking trash because like, dang, how did y'all mess this up? Like we we like we know they didn't have to be perfect, but they still like they missed the ball completely. Because the One Piece stories can be messed up. Oda wrote these stories and you're making your own version of a story that was already written. Not to condense, but to change, because those are two different things. And I know. Mean- oh, to, hold on, I'm sorry, but to add on to that condensing, you can condense this one by adding Arlong early so that it can make sense later on so that you don't have to do that extension. They probably going to show Nami's backstory right here when we first see him so that we won't have to see that later on. So by the time we get to Arlong Park, 
we already know what's going on because they condensed it into this part Listen, when we first meet Nami. I don't think they're going to do backstory to me personally. The eight episodes, they're already titled. If they do, maybe it's just a flashback and it's nothing like what you're used to. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. Episodes, but I don't know if they do backstories. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. We haven't seen any I, uh, anything alluded to that. It, it's just hard for me to get past the point. And I... I completely agree with Jay Mac and, and I, you know we we've been on this wave of of adaptations and one to one like we both have said like it's just like impossible but my thing is like if 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 you're going to get Oda on board and you're going to throw all this money at it and you guys both see a a, a path where they can continue this for however long, I don't see how you condense something and you feel like it's for the hardcores. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I get that. But what I'm saying is, if they aren't condensing, well, obviously they are condensing, but if they're changing, that's the problem. That's when it's, it, it doesn't make sense to be for hardcores. It would have to be for new people, which I don't think they're doing is what I'm trying to say. I don't think they're changing it. I just think it's purely condensing. That's why we see him here. I think people are reaching, assuming they're, they're changing it because they see him this early instead of actually trying to think about it. Cause maybe this could just be a condensing and people are just reaching at the end of the day. But I mean, him yeah, being there that early is a huge change to the story that is the manga. Like that's a that is a huge change. And I'm not saying it's a change that's gonna make or break this show, but that is a huge deviation from the from the story that is the manga and the anime. What if this turns out to be like a 30 second thing? Like, hey, Nami, you know That's what I'm saying. Then for that's now, what I think it's only it 30 seconds. Oh well, like, okay. Like I feel like right here he's smug and he's turning around because he was talking to Nami and he just said something. Remember something what you're working tour. for. Remember yeah. what you're trying. Something to that. Maybe. Now get out there and make my money. And he walks away. And, that's and then it. she goes out there and meets Luffy. I don't think it's that crazy if that were to just thirty seconds. See? Like yeah, that that's that's fine to me. But if this is how we start his his arc and then like you know, because how do they get from here to Arlong? Think about it like that. As a matter of fact, how do we get from here to Olong? And then they still have Nami cutting her arm. Clearly, that, that part of the story is still intact. She's working for him. That's clearly still a part of it. Because we got to the help me, Luffy. There's no way that should, that's different. Gotta see. I mean, I agree. I'm just like... I'm just saying, like, it, it, especially if this is going to keep going, there's, there's, there's just going to come a point in time where it, 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 they are condensing... There's going to yeah. come a point in time where so much has been changed. When does it not feel like one piece? And, and, and another thing about it, too, is we we, we, we got to pick up. We, we Obviously, Zoro is episode two. We got to get Zoro. Then we got to get, uh, was it Nami, then Usopp? Because if that's. I think it was Usopp first, right? Yeah, it might have been. I'm not sure, but that, that's still a lot because Usopp had his own big bat in his city. Nami obviously has hers. Um, Zoro had his too. We were fighting the Marines when we first met Zoro. And Sanji did too. That's four different fights within 10 episodes. People aren't going to have no fight. Like, either, either we're going to do a fight an episode, like we're going through left, right, like, but that's a like, lot that, to cover. That pace is going to be crazy. And then to, to, to in, in the, 10th episode or we don't know how it's going to end but to be at the end of Arlong by the 10th episode is crazy so then look at that picture of Shanks in that trailer uh, I don't even further know back, I don't further even back, know. further back at the beginning you should be coming up on it oh, I must have went too yeah, far yeah too far um Somewhere right there, I think, with Mihawk. Yeah, it's coming up, I think. 
or not. And we passed it too. Uh, oh, right there. Somewhere right there. Right? Because I think when they see the sword from Mihawk. Most replayed. Um, that, that was kind of crazy. Where is Shanks at, bro? Nah, that's at the beginning. Nah, that's... Bro, where is Shanks at? Oh, that's another thing, too. They showed Bellamy. They show Actually, in that ending thing, they showed Cavendish's uh, wanted poster. Uh, Tekking's thoughts, and I, I agree with it, was they are they don't even know if they're going to get a season two, so they're taking elements from future stuff and just throwing them in. They're just to, as little Easter eggs then just to see if, you know, just to throw them in there. I thought that was pretty yeah. cool because Cavendish's wanted poster was in there, so I thought that was dope. Which Cavendish is not too like late, late One Piece. How's it a sale in that? Yeah, that's uh, Dress Rosa. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he's his wanted posters up there. He's gonna come, presumably. All right, it's fine. I'll just throw up mine. Yeah, cause I, bro, I'm I'm soul searching. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, this. Uh, and Grand Light Review brought it up. That looks like somebody's dad cosplaying Shanks. I, um, like, I don't see it. Bro, Zero percent. My, my thing, and I agree, he doesn't look great. But my thing is, Shanks does look like a normal ass dude, bro. Like, let's not sit here and make and act like he looks like a Roger, where he has a, a, a obviously has a crazy looking mustache, the hair slicked back, and, and look look kind of crazy. Like, Shanks is a, looks like a normal dude. He has the little. The little the shave the, the the like he looks normal, bro. Like that's it. I don't I don't see how you make a guy look like Shanks without actually making him look like Shanks. Like Mihawk, yeah, because you, you can do. He has the beard and the mustache to look like it. Shanks in the anime does not have anything to point out to look like that. Yeah. I mean, I get that, but that still doesn't look like Shanks. I mean, uh, like, you said it. I think. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. They could have done. Yeah, like it's not, I don't even think it's all right, bro. Like, he, like I like everyone else. Like, look at Roger. Look at Arlon. Look at Mihawk. You're telling me that's Shanks, bro. I'm trying to tell you, there is no like, bro. I know the, what Shanks look like. You're not making a I'm point. I'm saying You're there's like, no. De- I'm trying to say there's no definitive characteristics to actually point out Shanks. Like when you see Shanks, you think of just red hair. He doesn't have a, like a specific face that looks like. Like, like he doesn't have anything to point out. You could say Mihawk. Look at his his mustache and beard. You could tell. Like you could put that on a couple of people and they'll look like Mihawk. You could the Roger. You can do that for a couple of people and look like Roger. Shanks. You can get any regular guy and get the little beard, bro. Like it's nothing crazy about him. Nah, He's just a normal bro. dude. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a great Shanks. I'm not saying it's a good Shanks. I'm just saying, how do you how else do you pull off a Shanks? How else do you do that? Bro, he looks 50. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. He does. Like, there's no shade. He I mean, does. The good thing is that we don't see much of Shanks anyways, right? So they got time. They got time to uh, do, do something better. Hey, they get a season two. They get some more money. People like it. Hey, they're gonna, you best believe they might <laughs> They might go ahead and upgrade my boy Shanks there. So we'll see. We'll see. They got time. <laughs> And, and for the the argument that, are, that Shakes is just a normal guy in the anime is crazy to me. I'm saying he looks like a normal guy. Like it looks like any guy with his skin complexion and just basic face with the beard can look like Shanks. Whereas the other people, bro, like you actually have a have to, bro. I don't know how else to explain it. Like it's just a normal looking dude. Cody could pull up that, right now and play Shanks, bro. Like that's yeah, apparently. <laughs> that's <laughs> not what I'm saying, bro. Like obviously just, you have to have dye his, his twist red. You, you have got to it. have his physique, but like, bro, I'm just saying, like it's not like you can. You have to do extra to be Shanks. Okay, so can we do bare minimum? Like what? What else would you have done to this actor to make him look like Shanks, bro? Somebody younger, at least. Okay, and, you, and I, then you want to talk about younger? Look at Zoro. I, I, okay, let's chill out. I let if Zoro just bulked up a little bit and, and got a deeper voice, you would have thought that was Zoro. Don't do that. No, Zoro looks like a little boy. Don't no, I don't do that. We can do this. I if, if, pull, if bro, pull up, pull up the trailer. Go, I'll, I'll stop it, bro. <laughs> if he just bulks up just a little bit, he looks like Zoro. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at some Shanks cosplay, bro. There, I haven't seen one that's good. <laughs> bro, cause it's it, like, it's, bro, he looks like bro. Go 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 look up some Shanks cosplay, bro. Find find one for me that you think is good, cause it's tough. 
That's tough. Where's Zoro at? He looks like he should be with him. This is a good Zoro pick. That's Zoro, huh? Bro, you just talking, bro, because you know that's a good Zoro. If you no, I'm not. No, 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 no. Bro, that is that is pre time skip Zoro. You cannot tell me otherwise. Why? Because he has the outfit on. No, because he actually looks like him. His physique or er, pre time skip because he wasn't bulky. Pre time skip. This looks like Zoro. I can, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Where did where the images at? I mean, ah, uh, uh, this is so dumb. I got to do it like this, but. You can't tell me he didn't look like this. You cannot tell me he didn't look like this. Shall I, shall I go back? You cannot tell me he didn't look like that. Come on, bro. I, I, bro. <laughs> when they put when they put close ups on Zoro, he looks like a little ass boy. He looks like he's fourteen. That is so crazy. How's that crazy? I think Zoro is like fourteen. <laughs> nah, I'm just like, nah, he's young though, right? I think Zoro's young. I don't know. Probably like early, early twenties or uh, close to twenty. You got to be one of those. He's nineteen. That's crazy. He's nineteen. If, if if he just if he just puts fourteen and nineteen is a big gap. Put, puts a little with? meme mug on it, man. He he'll look like Zoro a little bit more, man. Put a little meme mug. <laughs> uh, okay. What else? What else we got? What else we got? With some other concerns. What else, man? Because, I mean, I I let the Shanks thing go. So then, really, the last one was, and aside from that picture right there, it's kind of funny that you stopped right there. But everyone's saying that Nami kind of feels one note. Like, obviously, she she looks good because Emily looks that. good, but she she she's not really doing it for a lot of people. In what way? And, and this is okay. I, I saw this argument too. Tekken brought it up too. Like he brought up all these points, man. So if you guys haven't checked it and seen that, go watch that video. They, he didn't mention that Nami is looking a little, yeah, one dimensional, uh, cold shouldered, whatever. You know, she's not really engaging. Um, we got to remember that at this point in time, she's not really part of the crew. She's exactly. not there. She's not there to be these these people's friends. To be, she's there to take their money and take advantage of them. So I think what her when her acting is going to change is in this scene right here when she realizes yeah, that they're when I saw it. that they're actually her her friends her family at one point I think this is where her acting is going to be something to uh, look at bro if it changes here and she actually turns out to be you know the Nami that we know and she starts actually opening up being warm hearted and being the Nami that we know then yeah but at the beginning when she's on the ship and she's pre all this stuff I get that she's cold that she's not really interacting with them she's giving them the cold shoulder i get it because like i said she's not there for them she's there for her own selfish needs i say selfish but it's not grandline review says she's acting like zoro <laughs> i think it's insane and and tell me if i'm reaching bro but i feel like everybody else is reaching bro we, this is a three minute trailer yeah. She's not even a, a, a top three focal point of the trailer, and we're just gonna base her acting off of that. How her her character is in the show off of the trailer, and then this is this is before, like Jamie said, this is before she's actually a part of the group. That's crazy. We are just jumping guns, huh? We just <laughs> want, we just want to down talk it. That's that's what it sounds like. We just want to talk trash just to talk trash. I mean, no, but you know, you don't got to get defensive. I, I mean, people are noticing. No, I, I know, but I'm just, I just want people to realize that this is a trailer. And the only bad thing, truly, that I've heard this whole talk right now is the, um, is the Shanks thing. And I'll let that yeah, go. Arlong, because I mean, I said it before too. Arlong, yeah, and Could've Arlong, and game. Arlong. Could have been a that. That's that's it. Everything else, people are just reaching, bro. Yeah, we got, we got to see. I mean, I bring this up as an example, and this is, this might not be a good example, but. MCU, they they're not doing one for ones with the comics and stuff. They're taking their own uh, liberties at, and changing things, and we like it. Now I know that's completely different, and that's that's the silver screen that they got millions and millions of dollars to throw at it, and this is different. But on a smaller scale, this might be what that is. You know, if they can 
do the story not necessarily one for one, but if it's still good, uh, I'm on board. I'm on board with the changes as long as it's not major changes. Yeah, this is right after they picked up Sanji. This is hilarious. Oh. They're about to go to pick up. They're about to go to uh, Usopp. Okay. So if this is after they pick up Sanji, obviously Nami's with him. So Nami's not at yeah. Arlong. So that's Arlong. what I'm saying. When we see Arlong, exactly. So, so and then look how happy they are, brother. Like she's chilling because she met up. I'm telling you, this is how it's gonna go. Arlong is there because that quick 30 seconds, he's gonna talk her. Yeah, where my money at? I'm coming. I'm here to check up. That's what that was. I'm 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 with it. I, I got confidence. I mean, bro. well, there goes that theory that you know she's gone and Arlong took her or she went with. Yeah. Her. All right. Nah, they're straight, bro. Yeah, we gotta see. We gotta see. I mean, at the end of the day, this is all we have to judge it on. And I mean, rightfully so. We can judge it off of what we see in hypotheticals and theories. But until the show comes out, we don't really know. So, but even after all that, look at the Bratty in the back. Even after all of that, I'm still on board. As long as there's no major character changes, major plot changes, then. Oh, there's gonna be. We'll see. Just wait. We'll see. See where it goes. Uh, anything else? Treacherous we got anything else before we, we head on out? Anything else they hating about? And, and by the way, bro, like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not just defending it because it's my favorite, but I'm defending it because y'all are just reaching. If y'all actually had something good, like the 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 nose, which okay, you know, it's the bones. I get them that, but the 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 human nose thing, it's in the anime. Don't 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 sit there and act <laughs> like it's not there. Like that's crazy. Y'all are just reaching just to reach. We'll see. We'll see. I no, we'll I see. think uh, I believe that's it. I mean, not like now that the trailer hype has died down. I I just I still think this is impossible to adapt. To be honest, impossible. So, yes. Yes, because you've already agreed. One Piece is just something you can't skip over. That's what we're doing. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't feel like this is for new people. That doesn't. That what is that point? What does that mean, bro? Because if you're making it, One Piece is not a show you can skip. Oda should know that better than anybody. So why would the he? People make that love it don't care about that. Yeah, I know. So why would you make something that that skips things for new people? That was our in depth video of the One Piece trailers. Let us know what you guys think. If you guys are worried, if you are excited. One Piece, man. We are almost there. What was the date? August 28th, I believe. 31st. 31st. August 31st on Netflix. Go check it out. You know, we will have reviews for every single episode. Let us know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.